guys, the Doc is Hope here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and having a great week. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, all the things about the dress that I made recently for the start of fall. Um, I had gone over this pattern with you guys a long time ago and I had shared my fabric with you as well, but I figured out or rather I decided that my fabric was a little too thick for summer. So I decided to sew this dress up for the first part of fall and it's going to be warm and cozy, but it's got short sleeves at the same time, but it's a nice thick fabric. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. All right. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that hit that subscribe button so that we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to watch these fun videos. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's talk about this. Pattern. All right, you guys. So the pattern that I've been talking about is McCall's M7387, which is here. I don't know if you guys remember me sharing this dress with you guys in one of my previous pattern hauls, but I finally got around to making up this dress and I absolutely love it. Now I'll get into the specifics of the pattern in a minute, but overall, I love how this dress turned out. So I decided to sew up view D here with the short sleeve and the um, curved hem. It's kind of a, a high-low uh, hem, but I just loved how this looked. And so I decided to sew up this view for my dress. So you guys, it's finally fall here. Um, it's about 72 degrees outside at this point in Atlanta. But this morning, oh my goodness, you guys, this morning it was like, 48 degrees and I went outside. I, I needed to go to Target. So I did that. Who doesn't love going to Target? So, and I just loved getting out in that crisp fall air and feeling like oh, fall is finally here for real. Um, so I did enjoy that. And I just love how this dress is going to fit seamlessly into my wardrobe for fall. Um, like I said, the fabric is a little thicker. Um, I actually chose this fabric. I don't know if you guys remember. It's a 100% cotton. I think it was actually in the shirting fabric section, but it's like a mauve with like a mm, ivory type uh, stripe on it. So let's talk about the pattern. Uh, this pattern has 12 pattern pieces. As you can see here, all these lovely pieces. A lot of them are, well, a few of them are very large. Um, so just keep that in mind. A lot, a few of the pattern pieces are pretty big. Um, you have your back, your yoke back, your pocket, your front, your flap, your right fly, your front band, your collar, your sleeve band, your tab, your sleeve and your belt. I didn't make a belt but most of these pieces I actually use. Um, so a word about this pattern, it did take a while. There's a lot going on guys, a lot of moving parts here. Um, so I would not say don't make the dress cause I just love how it turned out, but just know that you're going to be investing some time, time honey, and get ready to get your needle out and get ready to slip stitch these uh, facings over these seams on the inside of this dress, okay? Whole a lot of slip stitching going on. I got to some of the later, later steps and was like, I gotta do some more slip stitching. Oh, okay. But it's, it's a labor of love. So you will have to slip stitch the front facings of this dress. Um, I'm getting better and I'm getting quicker at my slip stitching, but um, just keep that in mind. Something that you might want to know before you sew up this pattern. Um, so again, I decided to sew up view D. Let me show you guys the pattern layout here. Here we go. 
view D. All right, so these are those large, large pieces I told you about. This one and this one, and then a lot of smaller ones. So you will be, um, for your, for your uh, fabric layout, you will be folding right sides together to cut some of these pieces, but then you'll also be um, laying out the full length of the fabric or width of the fabric and placing all the pieces on right side of fabric. So two different types of layouts within the pattern and fabric layout. So definitely keep that in mind before you sew this up. Um, yeah, so let's talk about all the goodies. So like I said, I chose the cotton. It was $8 a yard. Also got seven buttons um, to go down the front. As you can see here, line drawings view D. This is the front, so this is the high part, and then view the back has the low part, buttons down the front, pockets on the front. Um, like I said, it's it's a lot. There's a lot involved here. Notions are going to be four half, well no, four half inch buttons if you're sewing up view A, seven half inch buttons if you're show, sewing B, D, or E, and nine half inch buttons if you're sewing view C. Um, because it's longer. So I actually hand sewed my buttons on. I used to um, sew the buttons on with the machine, but it just got to be a little too tedious for me and not as accurate and precise with the placement of the buttons. So I just said, you know what? I'm gonna get my needle and I'm just gonna hand sew these babies on because I know exactly where they need to be. They're gonna stay where they need to be and I don't know, to me it's just easier and more efficient that way. So you will need some interfacing uh, for pieces seven as well as piece eight, which is your collar. So keep that in mind. There is like a nice little uh, pleat on the back of the dress. So I like how that gives it a little bit of interest on the back. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see how they annotated the pleating here with this line down the back. So that's what that is. So the sleeve that, that I actually went with was actually not a, they have a full sleeve in here, but for the view that I sewed up, it actually ended up being a sleeve band. Um, so that actually got attached right on to the shoulder of the, the dress, um, which gave it that look um, like a folded up, short sleeve, but really it's a sleeve band. So I thought that was pretty cute. I chose to use a mauve colored thread with my fabric because it just, I thought it went well and it actually sewed up really nicely. Um, this is a Coates and Clark uh, dual duty, 100% polyester. Like I told you guys, unless I'm sewing um, denim, I like to use a 100% polyester thread because to me, it just sews so beautifully and it doesn't give my fabrics like a hard time and it doesn't give my machine a hard time, but that's just me. I love polyester thread. Okay. So um, of course I will put pictures of my dress here for you guys to see. I actually got to wear some boots for the first time this fall and I just felt so fall, uh, so in love with fall, so fall ready. And um, yeah, this was great. So I actually have two views of this dress. Uh, one is the dress as a dress, which I put a belt around just to cinch my waist because I love how that looks. And then I also have a view of the dress as a duster because who doesn't love a versatile pattern? Uh, so I just put a white cami underneath as well as some jeans along with those same boots and it turned into an entirely different outfit. So hopefully you guys love this pattern. Um, I love it. Again, it's up to you. Weigh the pros and the cons. If you love it enough to make it and go through all the steps or if you decide, you know what? It's not for me. Sounds like it's gonna be too much. It's up to you. But um, hopefully you guys will pick it up if you're interested in it. Let me know in the comments down below. 
um, what you think about this dress and um, what you're sewing up. What are you sewing for fall? What are your plans? What are you working on right now? I'd love to know. So leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Um, I love talking to you guys, you know, hearing what you guys are doing, what you're thinking about, um, and just going back and forth. So let me know. All right, you guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed my review of this pattern. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notifications. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And until next time, I will see you later.